offensive against Soy Pop Tart. He did that. What did he, what did he do that? Uh, uh, mass mer, uh, Shield Marine play. Yeah, he had the. It was just the Marine medevac timing, and then into standard play. It was, it was good yeah. stuff. So maybe if we're lucky, No Tail will keep doing the uh, same aggression. Well, bio I, bio play isn't very good against Mech, so I don't know. We'll okay. see. Okay. Well, so we'll see what the scouting is for No Tail to see if the other Terran is going Mech to see if he changes his, uh, you know, whatever. Yeah. TV. So is this a uh, best of five? <laughs> it's a best of three. So yeah, we're. I, I don't make this go too long. In fact, let me let the players know that. I don't think either of these two have been to the final in Daywalker before. Alright, top of the map. We have Zerzinski. He is a green Terran. He is our hero Terran so far. He's won every single series we've watched him play. <laughs> Your turn. Say it louder so they nerf them. <laughs> <laughs> So in the bottom left, we have our purple Terran, No Tail. Hopefully No Tail will be No Fail. Ooh, good one. Yes, let's hope No Tail is a No Fail. Notice No Tail is not going to wall off this ramp right away. He's just going to build his barracks back here, which tells me... Do you know me... why people uh, build their supply depot at the front of their, at their ramp, even though they have no intention of walling off? I, um... Go ahead. I, I like to hear to this. See if there's a scouting worker. Aha! Uh -huh. So they can find it like as soon as it gets into the so uh, they can base see it. So yeah. if you say like you're playing against the Pernas, um, if you and even if you have no intention of walling off, you'll build your first depot at the front door. So if they are planning to come build gateways or cannons in your base, you'll see the SCB, see. the probe enter. Aha! Uh -huh. So you see the worker come in, so you know that to keep an eye on it. I, excellent! Excellent! Great. Hey, we have a gas already for the uh, green turn. Calling it now. Banshee. And for the Maybe purple it's Reaper. Terran. Could be Reaper. By the way, the colors hey, are purple. This is looking like a Reaper expand, I guess. Poutine to help you out. Purple's on the bottom left, green's top right. Um, green is going Reaper expand, <laughs> and since there's no tech lab for no tail, he's probably going factory. Sorry. <laughs> no problem. Um, All right. Yep, uh, there's that factory. So unless he takes a gas super shortly, it's unlikely we'll see banshees. So I'm guessing that uh, No Tail is probably going for a Hellion Marine drop. Um, that's a. Pretty, maybe it's, I doubt that it's Cloak Banshee. Could be a uh, Hellion Marine drop into no Cloak Banshee, that would be my guess. Okay, um, there we go. Second factory now for Zerzinski. He is changing it up, and a command center goes down. <clears throat> so he's not playing a Zerg, so like obviously we're going to see a different build, and yes he is, he's going to go for a three racks expand here. Well, let's expand into 3-Racks. Yeah. Um, he should be starting Stim soon. Probably as soon as he gets 100 minerals. Where's the Stim? Oh, Combat Shield. It's interesting. I'm... Um, hmm. Kind of wondering why he's just holding the Watchtowers with his Reapers. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, so I'm completely wrong. There are no Hellions to be had. It is, in fact, Cloak Banshee. <laughs> <laughs> Cloak Banshee here for uh, Purple. He did go 1-1-1. One, one, one. That but was you his see that, uh, You see that his gas was a little bit late, because now he can't afford his Banshee right away. Yep. Ah, <laughs> uh, this is the three Reaper rush. My friend used to do this. <laughs> or actually, no, it's... Is it? No, it's not. It's not. Because he would get two Tech Lab racks when he was doing this, but... The reason why he waited for three Reapers is three Reapers, one shot's a worker. Alright, here we go. Reapers are now in the main base. Ooh, good micro, and this could do a lot of damage, and does not decide to stay around. Okay, three <laughs> Reapers leave the base. 
Well, I guess he doesn't really want to, like, lose the Reapers because you kind of... Reapers are a pinning unit. If you have them alive and your opponent knows that you have them alive, then they won't... They'll have to worry about them and at least oh. leave the minimum number of units in the base. Oh, Reapers being attacked by Banshees. Oh, well, that's kind of unlucky, but... That was very unlucky. Their Banshee, Banshee just flew but right But it is over lucky because it reveals that the Banshees are there. Yep. What did he scout? Let's see what his scout in the main base was from those Reapers. He got in there. Ooh. Oh, I'm hitting the wrong button here. Oh, uh, so nice. he did see the starport with, uh, yep. the, uh, with the tech lab? Yes, he did. And he saw a factory and he saw a barracks and two gas. So yeah, he got all of, all of his information. So that's good. Where did that Banshee go? Hello, Banshee. Ah. Aha, aha, there it is. I see it. Okay, it's cloaked. It's in the uh, main base of the green Terran and just left. Didn't want to stick around. Comes back for more. It's going to attack the starport that's being built. Kills the SUV that's building that. Two Banshees can kill a lot of Marines mm -hmm. with their combat shields. That's kind of brutal. But his combat shields just finished, I believe. Or no, he's getting it now. He's got stim. Did he start combat shields and cancel it and get stim? Uh, he might or have. Or was I just being silly when I thought that he got combat shields? He first? might have. You, you you called it. You said he was getting combat shields, but yeah. So uh, curiously, yeah, there he goes. Finally, the, the SCV comes back to finish the starport. He did not have that finished. Uh, so now it's being built. I wonder why he isn't showing stim. Because he's not stimming, even though he has stim. Maybe he's trying to bait them into the base. Yeah. He should know, though. The fact that this Terran doesn't have combat shields means that he has stim. Weird. So he's not stimming to kill the Banshees, so he won't give it away. Very interesting play here by uh, Zerzinski, our uh, Russian Secret Service. Okay, the Banshee try to come around to the t <laughs> to the uh, natural and get f met with a missile turret, which is a Banshee's worst enemy. Well, Zerzinski was bad at making SCVs, so he in fact is very behind right now. <laughs> uh oh! So behind all the SCVs is Zerzinski. Purple takes the lead in the work account. Purple now moving out with an army. He has a tank, a lot of marines, moving out. No medevacs with this army, notice. Well, Zerzinski should see this. He does. He sees it with the tower, so... Yep. And he has stim. And he has stim, so he can definitely take out this tank if need be. He has his, uh, his uh, units pretty good split up here at the top of the ramp. If he goes up this ramp, this oh. will be a big mistake. And Vikings are out. Up the ramp, no tail goes, 66 to 71 supply. Let's see how this supply changes once this battle's done. <laughs> A couple of tank shots go down. One of the most impressive sounds to me in the game is the tank, is the tank fire. I love that sound. Interesting. Interestingly enough, um, no tail missed a few production cycles through that for the CVs. So what the worker lead, which was before really huge, is now actually kind of a little bit mitigated, right. despite the fact that no workers were killed. Ah, uh, but now there's a supply block. That's brutal. Supply block for Mr. Zerzinski at 70. Man, we're 12 minutes into the game. That's kind of. Uh it's kind of lame. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, anyways, uh, Viking here to try to pick on these Banshees. The Banshees need to get away. Oh man, a medevac just opened and naked out in the middle of nowhere. Going to be taken out by this Viking. Oh my. And now finally moves over to safe grounds above the Marines. A little bit of a missed rally point here there for the uh, medevac. Uh, a little Is bit of an elevator. Elevator job. Yeah, he could. He could. Oh, he's. Uh, Siege's his tank just in the nick of time. That was a brave tank. Brave tank. He got... And uh, now the uh, Siege Wars will commence. <coughs> so 
Shinsky a little bit behind here in the army. Only one tank here, whereas uh, Notel has three tanks. That's a definite win for Notel. I'm sorry, he has four tanks. Oh, he has three tanks. Spreads him out nice and good. Get some uh, elevator going here with the medevac. Going to go fly into the main. Uh, so what does Zerzinski do with this? Hmm. The tank fire from below. Very nasty. Hmm. Purple is really getting behind on his Acura during all this. Alright, let's focus down a gas, takes out a gas. Gonna then go into the mineral line and take out some workers. We have 14 workers here, 15 now for no tail. The standoff continues in front at the third base. Oh, here we go, the green moves in with his marines and, and the tanks and is able to take out the army that's sitting outside the base. There's another tank there, get it, oh. get it. <laughs> he does. All right, so let's talk about something here. Um, Purple has 3.3k in the bank. He's currently even supply, basically. <laughs> Had he spent that money, he'd be up billions of supply, and this game would be over. <laughs> so, you know, all of this was pretty good, but if he had just, like, been on top of spending his money, and yep. not had this much money in the bank, then he would be in so much better position. Yeah, kind of weird. He marines are 50 bucks a pop, right? So it's like, yep. he could have 60 more Marines right now. Yeah, uh, he was building barracks too, while all that was going on. In fact, he's building another factory on, you know, on all this. So he has five barracks. He's going to have two factories. He has a starport. Uh, he's going to have two engineering bays. Maybe it's, maybe it's the fact that he didn't have the engineering bays made al already, because he could use some minerals making some upgrades too. That wouldn't have cl that wouldn't have spent that much money though. That would have spent like 500 bucks, not not 3.3k. <laughs> you know, I'm, I'm just saying. Well, you know, like some some Terrans like, like our green player is ahead in supply, but he should not be. Uh, in in games that, that we you know that that you've seen in the day, in the Platinum Unders, you, you've seen Terrans have a, tr a problem with uh, making enough production facilities and making enough when you have that much bank. You know, like they for yeah. all, all of a sudden forget to make their barracks and make their factories and make enough production to get rid of that bank that they have. And that's that was the issue we're, we're seeing here with Purple is this, he just doesn't have enough to make all that right now. I mean, he should, he be should throw down like two more command centers and two, three more racks. Right, two more command centers, throw down like three racks and out in front of his natural. I mean, yeah, just get the get the get it flowing here. Okay, so he feels brave enough to march another set of marines. We'll call it we'll call it a squadron of marines northbound. He's gonna do another little elevator job up in, up here into the. Uh, no, he's not. He's just gonna let him run into the tanks. Tank fire. Repair, 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 repair. Oh, uh, and No Tail's army was taken out. Our green player really needs to make more CVs. Okay, he is. It's good. Yep, 46 to 60 according to Control A. Look at the income tab, 60 to 43. That's good. Hmm. Oh, that duel ended not so good for Purple. Now Green has the, well, almost. He didn't. There we go. He moves it in range of these in Laga Tower and takes the bottoms in Laga Tower and sees yet two more Marines. But like, look at the production tab right right now. He has the ability to make. Nine marines at a time, and he's making three marines at a time right now. That is not how you spend your money. <laughs> <laughs> like I'm, I know, I know, I'm being a jerk right now, and I, I'm not one to talk since this guy is obviously he's a better player than I am. I'm just saying that. I'm just saying that if he had spent his money, this game would be so overwhelmingly in his side that it would be over. Yep. <clears throat> I mean, and we don't know what he's thinking about either. Like, he could be saving that for like, a future upgrade, or I don't know what what in the world he's you know he saving it up know. for. He's thinking that oh, geez, I'm forgetting to make marines. That's what he's thinking. You think so? Okay. Well, <laughs> yeah. I mean, I, I guess I can you know I can sit back here and say oh he should have made blah blah blah. You know I don't know. We, we don't know what he's thinking. So what? Uh, anyways, uh, command center it was on fire. It's being mass produced by. SCVs here at the bottom of the base Seems here. Seems to drop Green. snipe the command center for Zersky. Yeah, well...
Okay, command center floating over to the uh, third base for uh, no tail. And you're right, he could be making like three more command centers <laughs> and having them floating somewhere or planetary forces or what. Yes, totally agree. Another another thing that is a big mistake is Dzernski is is two two, and no tail doesn't even have his armory started. Hmm. 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 And th so that's like a really big deal, you know. Yes, for sure. All right. So uh, Zerzinski says, you know what? Dude, this is like. What why attack? would you do this? Why? Why would you aim him into this like this? Is he winning? He won that engagement. What? Well, I'll tell you what. That was because of the upgrades. Yep. Did you know that one upgrade is the equivalent of twenty-five percent more marines? That's pretty cool. A marine versus marine, so... Ah, oh, that sucked. Did you see that? The, uh... Yeah, the... just tried to load up a bunch of SCB, uh, a bunch of marines to drop on the tanks, and yeah. they got sniped by the one viking. <laughs> <laughs> this viking is giving nice vision here for these tanks. These What, four of these tanks have, uh, range on this, uh, command center. Do you notice the supplies? 154 to 111, yes I do. It's getting worse too. He needs to... I don't even think a counterattack would work at this point. I think this is GG. Yeah, oh yeah. Th this position by Zerzinski is almost perfect. Like, he has his, his tanks lined up here. There's no way that the purple can take this expansion again. Uh, he's going to have to figure out a way to scare this army from Zerzinski. I don't know if this is it. Yeah, this was a mistake, because even if he cleans this up, it's... GG! I hate to say it, you know, No-Tail is a, he's a 